This is LXBN TV, and I'm Colin O'Keefe. Yahoo has filed suit against Facebook, alleging that the social network infringed upon a number of patents owned by Yahoo. To discuss the case, we bring in New York attorney Vincent Lotempio of Klaus Stinger and Lotempio and the Lotempio Law Blog. Uh, Vince, starting starting off, you know what is, what exactly is Yahoo claiming that that Facebook infringed upon? You know, based on the things that I've read, it, it's a lot of different patents and features that that many other sites may already employ. Well, yeah, I think a lot of sites employ those types of uh, things that they're claiming. There's actually ten patents, and they broke them down into uh, different categories. Uh, the first category is the set, you know, social networking patent. It was the the patent ending in six four eight. You know, usually when we talk about patents as patent attorneys, you know, there's a they're all multi million dollar, um, multi million numbered, and we just refer to them as the last three digits on the on the patent. But uh, social networking, you know, the the model of 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 that. But the other things that the uh, has working for too is the privacy patents, um, messaging patents. Um, advertising, there's a lot of advertising actually, that's where they make all their money and how they advertise and how the clicks come about. Um, um, let me see what else we have here. Uh, custom customization patents, you know, on the playback system and, and the community basis. Um, those are pretty much, if, and there's a couple for each of those categories. So, yeah, there's 10 patents in different categories and, and it's basically how it operates as a, as a site more than just social networking itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on, a lot that they have stayed claim to, and you'd think that with, as they see Facebook develop over time, if this is something that they truly thought that, hey, Facebook shouldn't be doing, maybe they should have said something a little bit sooner. Um, so you know, why do you think Yahoo has waited so long to file suit? And you know, what do they stand by, and what do they stand to gain by doing so, if anything? Well, certainly they stand to gain a lot of money. I mean, there you're you have a ten um, patent lawsuit at a time that uh, Facebook is about to um, do an IPO, and certainly I, I you know said in my blog a uh, couple shares of uh, Facebook would look pretty nice in my portfolio right about now. And I think that's what Yahoo's thinking, you know. Why don't you, um, instead of us causing all this trouble, give us some some shares of stock. I mean, I'm sure that's going to be one of the first negotiating things. Yeah, it's just one of those things where in, in sports trades, a lot of times they talk about leverage and things coming down to deadlines and what have you. And with this this Facebook IPO, Yahoo just sticks them at the perfect time where they can say, hey, you, you really don't want this going on throughout your IPO. Let's just settle this for a, a, a large chunk of money right now. But, yeah, it's just it's an interesting thing to watch. Um, well, certainly even, you know, a lot of these patent um, cases, they'll actually negotiate, you know, how much will it cost to try it versus how much is it worth if we win? And even if you win, you lose because it costs this much money to go through the, the fight. So sometimes you you win the war, but, you know, you, you lose, you, know, you win the battles, but you lose the whole war because you end up spending more. Yeah. So I, I don't know if that's enough pressure to put them on um, notice to, you know, to, to settle it, but Facebook seems to be saying in, in everything that's the press releases that they're going to fight it and they're not just going to give in. But, of course, that could be posturing as well. Yeah, it'll be interesting to watch. I mean, it's not lengthy litigation can cost you a lot of money over time. Um, and lastly, you know, do you think that Yahoo in this case is is a patent troll, or is this a worthy suit, or is it possible that, that neither of those things are necessarily the case? Well, you know, you got to think with ten patents, something in there's got to stick. Um, I, I, I mean, I, without doing an analysis, I'd hate to say that. Yeah, I think Yahoo's just being a troll, and they're just trolling for money, and that's what trolls do. I mean, they they're uh, you know if you look at it, like the social networking part of it, they're not they're not a social network. I guess maybe they could argue they are. And they certainly they've teamed up recently with Facebook to so you can look at your friends and see what your friends are reading on the Yahoo News site. You can go to uh, Facebook and see all their uh, all the people that are coming from Facebook to Yahoo. So it's kind of like, you know, you know, biting off your nose to spite your face at this point. But I, it didn't seem like that's affecting their contract uh, to keep that going. Facebook hasn't said, okay, we're going to pull Facebook from your site. I wonder if that if ever comes to that. Of course, I don't know. I'm not privy to the contracts. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're, I mean, to, to be considered a troll, are they going to go out and go after every single social network? 
Um, I mean, are there other people that they might go after? Who knows? But uh, certainly this one, there's a, there's enough to throw at the wall and see what sticks. Yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting to watch. And that, that the thing you touched on was interesting, the partnership that they have with Facebook. I think Facebook was pretty surprised uh, to hear about these claims just through the litigation process, whereas opposed to being business entities and saying, hey, you know, we're a little bit concerned about these patents or what have you. So, uh, it's Well, absolutely. I mean, I, I think that Yahoo's traffic really increased once they started doing that. I mean, you know, hundreds of thousands of hits. I mean, that's how viral those, those sites are and, and the number of people coming through Facebook. That just if a small percentage of people that are on Facebook go and do that, they're they're getting huge numbers. Maybe that was another indication to Yahoo saying, "Look at all this money, all these people coming through here. Here's a big target. Let's let's take a shot at the biggest target there is." But sometimes you wake a sleeping giant, and the sleeping giant comes after you. Yeah, and yeah. you see what happens in that fight. You know. Yeah, exactly. That's a great point. And maybe maybe Yahoo saw. Wow, Facebook really is printing money. They're, they're spitting visitors at us like crazy. So maybe they just came to the realization that, wow, this is big, big stuff. But who knows? Um, again, that was Vincent Lotempio of Klaus Stinger and Lotempio. For more on this story, be sure to visit Vincent's blog at lotempiolaw.com and as always, lxpn.lexblog.com. Thanks, Vincent. Thank you, Colin.